This is an introductory tutorial for the Mapping Tonal Harmony Pro app for iPad developed by MDEX Music. In this video, I'll explain the maps layout and demonstrate how to use the core features in the user interface. Now, this is the first time I'm running the app, so the map is just displaying functions in the basic diatonic neighborhood. Also, on the first run, the sound needs to be downloaded, so make sure you have Wi-Fi connectivity and wait until the sound has loaded completely. Once downloaded, the sound will be stored on your iPad and you won't need to have Wi-Fi access to use the app. Okay, let's begin. This is the map area. As you can see, it's divided into three main harmonic regions, tonic, subdominant, and dominant. Each region contains a partial circle of fifths diagram, which displays the respective chords for each region in the current key. Functions in the minor mode are in the inner part of the circles, while functions from the major mode are in the outer part. So right now, we are in the key of C, which is reflected on this keyboard. And you can change this at any time by tapping on a key. Okay, let's try an example. Let's try the key of G. All chords are immediately updated. And here's the key of E, the key of D-sharp, there are lots of sharps here, which could be enharmonically changed to the key of E-flat by unselecting the Use Sharps checkbox. Probably a better choice for a key signature. Also, the map can be seen functionally by tapping on this key labeled italicized F. Now let's go back to C for a moment. Now, if you tap on any chord, it will play. And of course, if you modulate to another key, the sounds will change accordingly. And it also works in functional view as well. You can try and listen to any progressions you want by just tapping 1, 4, 5, 7, 1, or 1, 4, 5, 7, deceptively resolving to 6 minor or a full progression around the circle in a minor key. Or maybe 5-7 to the flat 6. Of course, I'm limited by the mouse movement here because I'm recording this tutorial, but on the iPad, you just have to tap with your fingers. If you want to find out more information about the chord currently being played, just turn on the Chord Info panel here. You can see the function in the current key, the name, and the most often used chord scale for the function, which of course is updated when you tap on a different chord. Or modulate to another key. And you can temporarily hide it by tapping here to access this menu, here. Or turn it off, here. The Main Cadences checkbox will make the paths for standard main cadences visible. And you can also fade them in or out, which will be very useful in other levels and when viewing progressions. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Please check out our other tutorials on map levels, play mode, recording mode or audio mode. Thanks for watching.